The marching in means the queen's in the box and they're following her pheromone. These are trying to get into the pheromone, but there's a screen. I'll get them in later. There's some leftover pheromone here, that's why they flew back up. They didn't catch the pheromone out of the box. So I'll have to shake them in a second time. This was a pretty big swarm. Most swarms go 10 to 20,000 bees. I'd say this was probably 15 to 20,000. It was on the larger end. Not the biggest I've ever seen, but pretty big. The reason honeybees swarm is how they reproduce. In the spring, the queen starts laying a lot of eggs to build up the numbers in the hive. And once they get too crowded, their instinct is to make some new queen cells. They start feeding royal jelly to traditional cells and eggs, and they turn those into queens. The first one that hatches goes and kills the other queen cells, and then she takes over the old hive. The old queen takes half the hive, and she picks up and leaves and goes somewhere else. She's kind of fat, so she can't fly very far. Don't tell her I said that. But she can only fly a few hundred yards and so she has to rest. So she decides to land somewhere and there's a cloud of bees that come in and land and they form a large clump and the workers protect the queen. Now of course they fill themselves up with food before so they have a bowl full of, uh, belly full of honey that way they can survive a journey. And they go and rest on a branch and send out scout bees looking for a new place to live. If I didn't get here soon enough, those scout bees would have come back and reported that they found a new place to live, and the whole swarm would have picked up and left. But instead, these are going to go into my apiary.
the entrance to get in. You never get 100%. Sometimes the train leaves the station without them, but the old ones usually go back to their original colony, because it's pretty close. In this case, we found it in the house next door. And each time I shake that, I get more in the box, so this cluster gets smaller. After three or four shakes, you usually get about 90-95% of them in. And one that's already this large, that's going to make a nice hive. So I'll shake that in a couple more times and I'll get these put into a hive. I don't want the video to get boring, so we'll end it here. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.